What is up everyone? I think today is the most exciting day in a while because not only do we have confirmation on all the features of version 28 and they are insane, but we also have incredible full body tracking with our phones. And yes, that includes iPhones. So that and more in today's video. Unfortunately, we still don't have chapters, so I'm going to get the V28 update out of the way first. And in case you guys are interested in the full body, skip to here. Okay, so we have confirmation on all the features in V28. I think Oculus support didn't get the memo and started giving out the release notes to everyone before they were out on the Oculus blog. But uh, yeah, basically everyone started posting them on Twitter and you guys know I always update you on Twitter. So I posted them up on Twitter yesterday and then today morning, Andrew Bosworth not only tweeted out the blog post for the Oculus update, but he also gave us a little teaser video, which is incredibly, incredibly exciting. In there, we can see that we get infinite office with keyboard and hand tracking on the keyboard support, which is insane. We get Oculus Air Link, which is their own version of virtual desktop, which is again, insane. But apparently they copied that from virtual desktop, which is not insane, but it is there. But it's still insane though, that they finally implemented it. The last time we heard this was in the keynote in 2020, where John Carmack told us about an Air Link. I continue to beat that drum where I, you know, we should have some kind of, of an air link. And then it gets even more controversial when we say, well. And that was where we heard it first. And now it's become a reality. And hopefully it is really, really good. And hopefully it supports Steam VR. I mean, come on, it kind of has to support Steam VR. The link supports Steam VR. 120 hertz support. Yes, all of these things in one. 120 hertz support. It is an experimental feature, but it is on in the settings. And maybe, just maybe, that air link is going to support support it. Super, super exciting. Desk tracking. Yeah, because why not? Hand tracking improvements. Yeah. Guardian bug fixes, tracking bug fixes. It seems they just threw everything into one update. Oh yeah. And light mode, just in case you want to burn your eyeballs out. I've been pretty much memeing that one on the discord all day long saying, Hey, yeah, they introduced light mode. They're going to turn it on by default just to blind people from all the bugs that they introduce. <laughs> No, but on a serious note, this seems to be the most exciting update we have to look at right now. I mean, 120 hertz support, desk tracking, infinite office, air link, all in one. What else might you possibly want? It seems that the Oculus Quest 2 is just insane. It's, it's right now, it is getting such incredible updates. It's insane. I need to post a meme on Reddit later on where I have a power bank connected to a power bank connected to a power bank connected to a power bank and stuck onto the back of the quest for 120 hertz. But oh my god, that is that is incredible. Now, here's the interesting part. We don't actually know whether it's going to work with the Quest. I assume Airlink is going to work with the Quest. 120 hertz is probably not going to work with the Quest. Either way, I think this is an incredibly exciting update to look forward to. Let me know what you guys think about these updates down below. Let me know what you think about all of these features and which one you think is going to come in most handy. And without dragging out this any longer, because I mean, what else can I tell you? We've got release notes. I mean, yeah, now we just wait for the update, which is hopefully coming on later this week, by the way, from uh, the information that we got in yesterday's video. Let's move on to full body tracking using nothing but your phones. So I just want to make something very clear. I did try. I tried for about four hours to make this work. And what you're going to see is the tutorial roughly until where things just started going down. So I'm going to show you basically as much as I know how to do this. And then if you guys actually want to succeed in doing this, unfortunately, you're going to have to join their discord or do some tinkering on your own because I didn't succeed. But uh, but yeah, I'm still going to show you the tutorial until the point where I got confused because yes, this is possible. This was actually made by the Japanese community in VR. They are actually insane. Like I've seen so many things from the Japanese community in VR that is just fantastic, but nobody knows about it because it's in Japanese and not English. And that's just not fair because they deserve some love. And as you guys see, this phone is missing. That's because we are doing full body tracking with phones. There is an app that you can buy from the Japanese community. They've created this. This has actually been, a it's a little bit older actually, this app, but it's just been updated the 9th of April. So that's dope. And you just install it onto your Android phone or your iPhone. Uh, um, uh, I don't have any iPhones that are actually on and working right now. So I can't show you that process on an iPhone, but everything is actually detailed nicely in instructions and you buy the app once. It's 15 euro, 2000 Japanese yen. 
And yeah, let's get to the setup. So yeah, it is a one-time payment of 15 euro, but you know what? That makes sense. Um, and supposedly from what I have seen, this is actually fantastic and incredibly, incredibly accurate. So this will actually work with any Steam VR headset and it will work with only Steam VR because we are using these phones as Steam VR trackers. So that's very important, guys. This is for a VR ready PC, uh, but from there on, if you've got any headset that supports Steam VR, which I think most do, you're actually set to go. We fire up the folder that we have everything in. I'm also gonna fire up the instruction manual because we do have the instruction manual here. So looking at the instruction manual, first we need to download VMT, which is, control click. So I'm gonna extract the VMT files into a folder just to make life easier for us. And let's follow the instructions. So download and unzip VMT, yeah, we've done that. Start VMT underscore manager dot exe, okay. VMT underscore manager dot exe, that is going to be this one. You know where I've seen this? I've seen this before on the two Oculus Quests tracking in one where you do full body tracking with two Oculus Quests. I've seen this. Okay, uh, I think we might need a headset connected. Okay, so now that we have a headset connected, let's try run the file again. So VMT manager, yep, okay, so this time it asks you. So basically just connect your Quest through virtual desktop or any other headset that you have because this will work with any. Okay, so here we just click install. Please restart Steam VR. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It says driver. Perfect. Okay. So now in driver, uh, we've got the press install button, restart Steam VR, allow through your firewall. Perfect. Here is what we do now. Uh, now that we've got set up on the virtual motion tracker, we need Java 64 bit, which I already have. All you do is you download the Java offline version of 64 bit, unzip this thing and start the zip. Okay. In okay. So now we move back a few notches, go to documents, smart tracker, smart tracker, bin, and bat. Okay, let's see what happens. V smart tracker, okay. So now let's launch the app on our phone. So, you know, to install the app, it's just an APK file. It's as simple as downloading the file copying it to your phone and installing it, or at least that's how simple it is on Android. Basically, it's going to look somewhat like this inside the your file manager. And all you do is you just click on the app and it'll ask you to install it. See, it'll look like this, just like that. And you just click install. So I actually haven't installed this on, on this phone yet. So I'm actually gonna do that right now with you guys. Oh, that, that already finished. That was very fast. And this is what you're gonna get. Oh, it's not seeing it. Why is it not seeing it? Okay, it's not seeing it for whatever reason. Yeah, I know. I was unsuccessful. Six different phones, three different computers. The app doesn't want to see the phone. There's a little bit of a language barrier here. And as cool as this thing looks and as incredibly as it works, or at least so it seems from all the videos that I've seen, I can't get it to work. So if any of you guys do speak Japanese and are part of the Japanese VR community, well, feel free to try out the project. I mean, it again, from the videos on Twitter, it does seem to work incredibly well. But on my six Android phones and on the zero iPhones, because none of them are charged and it takes iPhones like 60 days to charge for some reason, basically, I can't get it to work. So unfortunately, that is an unsuccess. But you know what? I still need to get this video out to you guys because V28 is the most exciting update yet and uh, you guys deserve to know what's going to be in it trying to Google Translate the entire Discord conversation, trying to open up ports on my firewall, disable the firewall entirely. And the older version of the app, uh, 0.4 GUI server, did actually find the phones, but it wouldn't calibrate them. And the entire thing was in Japanese, unlike the newer one, which is actually in English, but the newer one just doesn't. Um, it opens a UDP port, but I don't think it's listening on that port. UDP ports won't show up as listening in command prompt anyway. Oh, so much troubleshooting. I'm trying to give you guys as much info as possible in case you want to try this yourself as to what I tried. So yeah, uh, Windows opens the port. The port for this app specifically is 58375. And that port does get opened once you click start inside the app. And Windows does have it open, but the my phones just don't see it. And I tried hotspots. I tried different networks. I even created another access point and nothing works. So unfortunately, 
that is where we end today's video. It's it's unsuccessful. Thankfully, we've got an incredible community and we've got a pretty international community as well, as I have recently found out. So maybe somebody that is more intelligent than me will get this working and will relay some information to us and then I can spread it to you guys. That's kind of what I'm hoping is going to happen here because I don't want to leave this project in the dust because it does seem to be a pretty damn cool project. But yeah, that's that. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this one works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. There has been a bug recently on YouTube and I keep getting comments that you guys might be getting unsubscribed. So I do tend to say this at the very end of the videos in case you guys would want to be subscribed or were subscribed, just make sure that you're still subscribed. If you guys are not yet part of the community, make sure to join our Discord down below, to join our Reddit where I want to see you posting your spice memes. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way she performed, we've got sick mugs down below and merch that doesn't put a huge out on body. And if you guys would like to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button if you're my bell and see you again in the next video. Peace.